Trump's going to lose. <laughs> but can you not do the big reveal before I've asked the question? It's pretty obvious. I mean, <laughs> he's going to lose. He's already said that he's fighting for himself and the nation as this trial. How is he going to approach it? Well, I mean, first of all, he's not fighting for the nation. He's obviously fighting for himself in a case that should have been brought three or four years ago when he was the sitting president, but the U.S. attorney in the Southern District of New York, which is the federal attorney, elected not to bring the case. Uh, and so uh, Alvin Bragg, before the statute of limitations ended with, I think, more comprehensive facts, decided to bring the case. And so uh, I think it's a very high likelihood he gets convicted in the case. And then the issue will be what's the sentence and will there be jail terms or things like that. He's the former president, so likely not. But he's he's not fighting for anybody other than himself. And what he did was a direct violation of campaign finance laws and the failure to disclose all of that. And then the hiding of that is also illegal. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm not in love with the case, me personally. I don't like Donald Trump. I certainly don't want him to return to the presidency because I just think he's a very dangerous guy. But I'm not in love with the case because it seems like a minor case to be bringing when he's got three other cases that I think are actually monumental. What are the three cases that you think are more important? Well, the the, the documents case, I think, is probably the most important this is to where the you took fabric classified of the government. Yes. White House documents. He took classified White House documents, lot, lots to do with our human intelligence agents. Uh, he put our agents at risk around the world. He left them in his bathroom. It's very hard to understand why he did that or what he did with the information. Uh, but the complaint, if you read the complaint, it's very damning and it's a direct violation of everything that he did as president in terms of taking the oath, uh, respecting the institutions of the presidency and things like that. That's number one. The insurrection case, I think, is arguably also very important. Remember, he has the chief witnesses, Mark Meadows, in that case, this is a white Southerner who ran the Freedom Caucus, which is the most conservative part of the House of Representatives. He's his last chief of staff. Uh, and Mark Meadows claims that he has Donald Trump on tape fomenting violence, prosecuting the insurrection, uh, declaratively saying things like he didn't care. He was indifferent to the potential death of the vice president, which is one of the reasons why I think Vice President Pence, among many reasons, is not endorsing yeah, President Trump. I think, I think Trump. it's so, a fairly good so reason So I think that's a very Trump. big case. And then the, the last case, which uh, he got a little bit of a break because the prosecutor was having an affair oh, with the other right. prosecutor. Yeah. But the last case is the election uh, thievery case. He's, he's basically on tape oh, yes. with the Secretary of State of Georgia saying, hey, I need 11,000 plus uh, votes. I need one more vote than necessary, you know, one more vote to win sort let's, of thing. Let's go back to Stormy Daniels. How, yeah. how long do you think the trial's going to last? Well, I mean, Trump's going to do everything he can to de delay that trial. So if if the trial does start today, that's probably a three- or four-week trial if there's no delays. But Trump will try to delay that trial. He'll try to find ways to delay the trial. And will he trial. give evidence on oath, do you think? There's absolutely no chance that he'll do that. He has said that repeatedly. He said that he would do that with Mueller when he was sitting president. He has said that. So he has a certain playbook. His playbook is, of course, I'll testify. Of course, I'll testify. He has never once testified. Uh, he's probably got three or 4,000 lawsuits uh, that have been put up against him from contractors and people he hasn't paid. And he's probably got three or 4,000 lawsuits that he's actually the plaintiff in the lawsuit, he always says he's going to testify. He always says he's going to testify. Can he be made to testify? Uh, well, he, he can't be made to testify because in the United States, you have the right to remain silent and you have the right to not call yourself as a witness. And, of course, the prosecutor can't call you because you have the right not to incriminate yourself and just to be in clear, a criminal trial. Just to be clear, I mean, the, the evidence in this case will not be salacious evidence to do with his relationship with Stormy Daniels because it's, a, in a sense, a sort of technical prosecution about how campaign funds were used. It's not actually about whether or not he, he had a relationship the, with Stormy Daniels. He, he, he broke the law, and then he, yeah, covered, yeah. he broke the law. And but then the point I'm making is yeah. this is not a, a prosecution about him and Stormy yeah, Daniels. No, it's, I, it's, a I don't, I don't, it's a prosecution about how money was used. I don't like the case. I mean, listen, I again, I, I, I don't like him, but I don't like the case. It's not, it's not the best of the four cases. Uh, but this guy has a lot of luck, Donald Trump. Over 50 years, he's gotten away with a lot of interesting things. 
And the fact that this is the big case, meaning the first case, uh, is overshadowing more damning cases. So, But it's interesting. It's the first... It's funny you say that because I've always thought that the sort of storm... This trial was the un, unlooked-at trial, the overseen... <laughs> <laughs> not anyway people are not paying enough attention to it because it could result in the first proper conviction and that's significant well i think it's significant and i think he does get convicted uh, alvin bragg who is an accomplished attorney uh would never be bringing this case if he didn't think he could convict donald trump uh and remember he's got to be convicted in front of 12 jurors uh, his people will say, well, those are jurors in New York that dislike them. It's a left-leaning or a blue state. But even still, you know, you have a presumption of innocence in a criminal court case, uh, but the evidence is is overwhelming. And so he likely gets convicted. You see, he could have pled out on that case, and he could have gotten a fine or he could have gotten yeah. some type of misdemeanor sentence mm. in his orientation. He didn't want to do that. He thought that this was good for him politically. And it has been on the margin good for him politically. He's raised money off the case. He calls it lawfare, meaning these are prosecutors going after him mm. to stop him from returning to the presidency, mm. as opposed to just the plain and simple fact that he went over the line and broke the law. And so, you know, he's raised money. Uh, it's helped him in the polls. If you look at every time these indictments come yeah. down, he ticks up in the polls but he's ticking up in the polls with a much smaller group of people. So so just for the UK listeners, in the United States, the largest registrant group is the independents. So the parties have fallen out of favor with the American people. You have 41% of the people registered now declaring themselves independent. Low 30s for the Democrats, roughly 32.5%. Republicans now are below 30%. They're at the 28% number and they're declining, uh, and this is uh, this is primarily because Trump has hijacked that party. We haven't got long left, Anthony. I'm dying yeah. to get your view, obviously, on the election coming forward because you, everything you're describing gonna lose. there, Trump's going to lose. <laughs> Look, can you not do the big reveal before well, I've well, asked I mean, the question? I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, <laughs> he's going to lose. If you want me to, if, if, just tell me Explain how much. Why. Just tell me you've how much time we have. Minutes, I'm looking at the clock. Tell, here. tell me how much time we to, have uh, left. It's a very interesting okay. experiment. We've got three minutes to tell time's right. radio listeners why Trump will lose. And who knows, maybe half will be disappointed and half will be happy. <laughs> well, I mean, Trump's going to lose for a number of different reasons, but the main reason is... By the way, I'm his, happy about that. His, his base <laughs> is smaller. Uh, it's louder, but it's smaller. Uh, number two, he has no money. He can't raise the money that he used to raise. He told a very big lie about the money that he raised two weekends ago at John Paulson's house. Uh, he's that's being, the former go head of Goldman. Uh, no, John Paulson. Uh, uh, that's that's uh, Henry Paulson. Oh, John yeah. Paulson is okay. Paulson Investments, but he's a billionaire hedge okay. fund manager. But but he's going to lose because he doesn't have the money. And you're getting five field offices for Joe Biden to every one field office for Donald Trump in the swing states that matter to settle the U.S. election. Uh, and then remember, the, the last piece here, there's a very large group of former Republicans yeah. that are going to be arguing the case against him. Uh, and radio is fun for me. I'll be doing it in all the swing states, uh, explaining to the people I grew up with, because I grew up in a blue-collar family. My parents didn't go to college. I'll be explaining to them the systemic danger of Trump. And uh, he's going to lose. And I did that in under three minutes, so you can ask me a follow-up question if you want. Yes. Uh, yep. Do you know who Liz Truss is? Yeah, she lasted 4.1 Scaramucci. So, That's right. so I got fired Anyway, she has just today days. said that Trump has to win the election. What's your yeah. message to Liz Truss? Well, I mean, she's misinformed. She hangs out with Steve Bannon, who I think is probably the most evil person that's still taking a breath in North America. So, I mean, she's obviously got bad judgment, but... If, if you're measuring time units in politics by 11 days, I got fired by Trump after fighting with him 11 days in the White House. Liz Truss lasted 4.1 Scaramucci. So, I mean, she's probably got really bad judgment to think that Trump's going to win. But I understand why she's doing that. She why? wants attention. Well, she wants attention for herself. And she thinks she's a, a right-leaning champion of lower taxes and some of the Trump MAGA nonsense. But, you know, look, it's just, it's just wrong for the UK. It's wrong for America. And we've got to return to something more normal in our politics. Trump's not the answer. Uh, I've really enjoyed this interview. 
I think you should run oh, for politics. I, I enjoy it. Why do you run I, for office? Am I supposed to call you Lord before I you leave? Sh- you should. I, I, you know, technically I, speaking, you do should. Do I need have, to bow down well, or something? Because, you know, I'm Mr. American. I don't understand these uh, cultural uh, You things. should really have called me Lord Vasey. Not Lord, Lord Vader, though. Lord Vader. And, and you, right? may, you may get a fine as you leave the country for failing to do so. Okay. Well, I'm going to curtsy on the way <laughs> out of the studio, okay? You... With my skirt. <laughs> when are you running for office, Anthony Scarabucci? Well, my, I'm running for re-election <laughs> of my marriage yet. Okay, I'm just trying to stay married, okay? I mean... I mean, you know, you know, I almost got divorced during the Trump fiasco. So, uh, you yeah, know, we pulled it back together. I mean, listen, as, as far as I know, I think I'm on like a one-day term with my wife. I'm running for re-election every day. And for all you know, there could be term limits that I'm just not fully aware of. But my wife would, would probably castrate me if I ran for office. So it's not going to be anytime soon. Anthony Scaramucci, I don't know whether you should have your own radio show or your own uh, elected office, but I hope we'll keep in regular touch. It's sweet, sweet of you to have me here. Thank you.